Tonight we are staying in a glamping tent. I'm like really excited and also terrified. There's a monkey. I see him, I see him, I see him. There's my cars on the roof. Welcome to Costa Rica. Girls, do you see what's over there? a horse. So we think we're at our spot. We're not sure. It's just like someone's farm that we've pulled into. Not quite sure where to go. It is someone's farm. I don't think this is right. But where are we supposed to go? I don't know. We're a little early. I have no Oh my goodness, there. look at this horse though. He's just like living his best uh, life. Uh, here in the name of the farm is Lakina. Okay. And um, well, my name is Jose. So we just met our host for the weekend and uh, he's taking us out, driving out in his beautiful Land Rover Defender uh, out to our camping spot. I'm like really excited and also terrified. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because we're glamping, that's like camping. <laughs> With makeup on. <laughs> Girls, tonight we're sleeping amongst the monkeys. Amongst the monkeys. Which I'm super excited about. What? Glamping is just like a house. Yeah. Camping. Oh, I'm so happy. A bear. I'm gonna look at this. Look at this. Hold on, Alexa. Gotta unzip it first. Oh my goodness. I call top bunk. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Girls, look at these beds. And they're gonna come way right down. Can I see the bathroom? That's a big shower. Whoa, hold on, Chloe. Oh my goodness. <gasps> this is amazing. Why are you so excited about the bathroom? Because it's so, so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. At nighttime, you're supposed to be able to see armadillos out there. Out here? Yeah. Like, in the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, just right out there. Yeah. Got some binoculars. I can't see any. Alexa, guess what? <laughs> the caps are on. <laughs> guess what? We should be able to see monkeys and macaws. So close. It's so close. <laughs> what do you want to see with those binoculars? Uh, I don't know. Tonight we are staying in a glamping tent. This is amazing. I've wanted to do this for so long and this is the best place to do it, honestly. We're in Costa Rica, we're in the middle of the jungle and we're gonna be watching for macaws, we're gonna be watching for monkeys, armadillos, and this is our place that we're gonna sleep for the next two nights, right? Yeah. Two nights, yeah. So, oh my goodness, this is really cool. I'm so excited. So we have been here all of five minutes and I haven't seen it yet, but I can hear a macaw just off in the distance. And this place, it's gonna be awesome. Which side do you want? I'll have this side. It can get the most okay. air.
girls. Shh, shh. I think there's a monkey. There's a monkey. That is a flock of macaws. Amazing. I can't believe we just saw a monkey thing drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you probably couldn't hear that because I was whispering. Yeah. I can't believe we're just sitting here drinking coffee and then there's a monkey that's just like jumping through the trees. This is amazing. Where is it? I hear more. The monkeys will start coming out for the next couple of hours, so we just need to be quiet and keep an eye out for them, okay? okay. I didn't see it. Dripping in sweat because we are in a rainforest, but man, we just sat down for our coffee and two different monkeys jumping through the trees. I can't quite see them right now, but. I think they're gonna start coming out and we should have more sightings tonight. And man, I don't know if you can hear that, but there are so many macaws out. They're just a little bit too far away. Our host showed us where they like to nest and find food. So we're probably gonna go find them later on tonight or tomorrow. So last night was amazing. We all slept really well listening to the sounds in the jungle. It was incredible. And this morning our Airbnb host has invited us to breakfast, so we're going to head there now. Peggy is into blue macaws. I'm in the pink macaws. Buenos días. ¿Cómo durmieron? Bien. Bien. Ay, es... hablan español. Bien. Ah, poquito. Ah, poquito. So, no, not at all. Uh, no, I, I, I hear you very good accent on there. We wish. We want to try. Alexa speaks Spanish. Girls, let's go watch the cows. Um, you see those nests over there? Yeah. Those are called oropéndolas. Oropéndolas is a bird. It's a very beautiful bird. And some people come to Costa Rica just to see them. They make hanging nests like that? Exactly. Wow. And that's wow. the biggest nest on the rainforest. This is actually the first house that was on this property. This is his great grandfather's house, Jose's great grandfather's house. And he just spent so much time explaining to us 
their philosophy on farming. Ooh, yum. <laughs> Tasty. First you brought some fruit. This is delicious. Oh. Okay, so we'll get two horses. And then... <laughs> so the thought of someday being able to own our own property and grow coffee and have a banana tree. Sounds pretty appealing horses. to me right now. <laughs> I mean, Alexa would get out on the horses and put saddles on them and braid their hair and ride them. So I like that the girls are sold by the horses and the farm life. But for me, Jose has not one, but two Land Rover Defenders. And I'm sold by the idea of someday being able to own a Land Rover Defender. <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> so we have a traditional Costa Rican breakfast here this morning. I'm so excited. So he said you get your tortilla, you put on the beans, and then some cheese that they raised here and made here, and then you put on the sour cream and then you roll it up and eat it. So I'm so excited. Oh, this looks so tasty. I think you guys are gonna love this. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so delicious. They also made the tortillas fresh this morning. Yes. I don't know. Does that look good? That's good, yep. Okay, some and then some cheese. I'm excited to try the cheese. I am too. Okay, I mean, cheese. I met the cow that made it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This is amazing. Okay, and then some sour cream on top. Okay. Mommy, why are you putting sour cream on it? Because that's how you're supposed to do it. So you just roll it. Mommy, what's that? And then the, you're supposed that? to hold it like that. Hold it like yeah. this. Ooh. Mmm. Can I have the bean cheese one? Cheese. That's phenomenal. <laughs> Daddy, can you roll it up for me? Yeah. Mine? This is so good. So the glamping tent that we are staying in is connected to this cattle farm. And Jose has been showing us around and telling us his story. So we decided that we wanted to have him talk to us on camera so he could share his story. <laughs> My name is Jose Rafael Alfaro Murillo. Uh, here we are on La Quina, that is our farm, and we have a project called Shade Tree Glamping. In 2008, a president of Costa Rica said that Costa Rica was going to become carbon neutral. So they say, okay, we have a big problem with livestock. And no one nobody else in the world is doing it. So we want our Costa Rica to become leaders on how to make livestock in carbon neutral. We start changing the way that we were producing and we stopped since then to use uh, any agrochemicals like herbicides or insecticides or fungicides or even fertilizers. So suddenly when we stopped uh, using agrochemicals, we saw that the manure that the cattle was putting into the soil start decomposing a lot faster. So what they found is that when they stopped using chemicals, the insects and worms actually broke down the manure and it went back into the soil so that the earth actually absorbed the carbon and they became carbon positive. So the Costa Rican government has actually been out here, sent scientists out here, and they've tested the soil and they are actually confirmed to be carbon positive, which is an amazing achievement. <laughs> We just spotted two red macaws in the tree. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Can you believe that? Like, you were driving back to our house and we're seeing, oh, there's another one. Oh, I heard him talking. So they actually love eating these berries from the palm tree. We're here at the right time of the year where, man, they just love chomping on those trees. I can't believe how calm they are. Like, the one was like talking to me. So Jose, our host, was saying that when he was growing up here, it was a very rare thing to see macaws, but because of all of the conservation efforts that Costa Rica has been making and the reforestation, they're actually quite common now. This is the like 14th or 15th macaw that I've seen this morning. Sixth and for me. Six, sixth for Alexa? Mm -hmm. Three for me. <laughs> Three for Chloe. And I mean, we're literally walking distance from our little tent right now, and they've been flying over, making a lot of noise. They sound like pterodactyls. It's hilarious. But 
I mean, I did not, I really did not expect being able to be this close to them and have them be so friendly. Do you guys feel like we're on our own little safari guide right now? <laughs> this is amazing. We're just driving back to our tent. Yeah, this is huge. For Look breakfast. There. It's amazing. What do you see? I'm still trying to find it. Brady said he saw an iguana in the tree, like at the top of the tree. All the way up there, there's an iguana. <laughs> I haven't seen him yet. Let me see. He's really hard to see, buddy. He's all the way on top of the ridge. He must be 200 feet in the air, eating berries off that tree. Chloe, come on! We're trying to stabilize the binoculars so the kids can see. You see him? I saw a little on the tree. You saw that's, that's him. him. I see him! I see him! I see him! How did he get up there? He must have been climbing for the last couple of hours. Oh, baby days. That's so neat. Like of all the things that we've seen, that's just, I never would have guessed an iguana would be at the treetops like that. It's so cool. <laughs> Nothing too fancy tonight, but we're doing like a broccoli, Onion, heavy on the garlic and ginger with nuts over top of rice. Oh, delicious. I made a huge mess too. <laughs> but we have the wildlife to clean up after <laughs> us. <laughs> Do it for the monkeys. <laughs> so this is the part of the night that the jungle comes alive. We have a toucan out in the distance. I can hear the monkeys. I haven't seen them yet, but it's about to get quite lively. I hear another bird whistling in the background now. But man, you've got this brief. Oh, there goes the toucan flying. I can't, I can't get a shot of them. They're too, too far away. Um, we need to get a longer lens. Alexa, are you excited that you got to see a toucan? I did not think we'd be able to see one. Me neither. That was pretty special. Those mosquitoes are coming out. Yeah. Daddy, guess what? what? Two years ago, um, this dress was to the ground. Because <laughs> it was so big. Yeah, you're getting pretty big. So we are going to try to head out and spot some macaws. It is dinner time for the macaws and we know exactly where they like to eat. So hopefully we'll be able to spot some. We just heard one. Okay, let's go quietly, okay? The forest is so loud. It's crazy. Saw like some really big animals. Come over here. Come over here. Look through. Look through the trees. Those are cows. No. So after a night of sleeping in this glamping tent, we thought it would be time to give you a proper tour. So we're gonna start in the sleeping area. We have a queen-size bed, 
and then a bunk bed so you can easily sleep five people in here which is really nice we also have two monkeys on kindles <laughs> because it's a whole lot easier to do this <laughs> <laughs> a little quieter when they're on their devices, but the awesome thing about this tent is that it actually has some USB charging ports, so if you don't want to go completely off-grid, you have that as an option as well. There are fans all over here that are USB powered, so you're staying cool at night. It's very, very nice and necessary. So my favorite area is actually right here on this uh, front porch balcony area. Viewing deck. It's a viewing deck. It absolutely <laughs> is. That's We've seen monkeys, we've seen toucans, we've seen macaws. This place is incredible. But it's so beautiful and I love this, the detail in here. This actually was made by only using reclaimed wood from the property, which I think is pretty amazing. They didn't chop down any trees to get the logs to build the structure. What gets me is the attention to detail of everything. I mean, all of this furniture is just so uniquely designed and crafted. So coming off of the viewing deck, you have some stairs down to the kitchen area. So this is the kitchen area. It comes equipped with a stove top. <laughs> Ready to do this kitchen tour part. Are you not familiar with kitchen appliances? <laughs> it's been, listen, okay. I used to do all of the cooking, but it has been years since I've cooked. Thank you, Brady. All right. <laughs> so we have a fantastic uh, propane cooktop, two burner cooktop, gets super hot. You do have running water because this is glamping after all. And it comes rather well stocked. I mean, you've got all your pots and pans, um, better stocked than most Airbnbs in my opinion. Uh, and then you also have this uh, seating area. So this is a great place to come and eat your meals. This is where we've seen most of the macaws. They love being up in that tree, so it's really easy to see them flying over. We've been so impressed with this glamping experience. We will definitely be back here someday, and I'm excited to look for more places like this. In the back of the tent, we have another one of my favorite places, the bathroom. This rainwater shower is amazing. It feels so good out here in this uh, jungle heat to take a nice cold shower outside. It's phenomenal. There's also a proper toilet. Like I expected a composting toilet, but this is proper glamping. I mean, there's running water and proper plumbing. Hello. Welcome to Costa Rica. You may hear monkeys in the background, either <laughs> macaws, real monkeys, macaws, or maybe children. Some <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I didn't know where you're going with that one. <laughs> There's yeah. lots of sounds. Lots of sounds happening here. If it's high pitched, it's our monkeys. <laughs> yes, that's probably. <laughs> if it's low pitched, it's real monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so to be honest, I was incredibly nervous about coming here. Um, which I don't think I realized, but when we got out of the car, you're like, you look terrified <laughs> because <laughs> bugs and nature and... I know, like, if you've known me for more than a couple of years, like, you know that I am kind of a fearful person. I feel like our lifestyle is kind of beating the fear out of me, which is part of why I love what we do, because I'm learning that most of the things that I'm afraid of there's really no reason to be afraid of it. And so being outside in nature, I love being outside in nature. I also love being in a place where I can like shut the doors and be in the air conditioning and then look out the you, window You want nature. to be in nature, but in a glass bubble with nature on the yeah. other side of it. That's more specifically. It's, it's true. <laughs> yeah. But um, man, this place is just incredible. I... I don't even know exactly how to describe it. And a big part of it is not just this glamping setup, which is phenomenal, but a big part of it is our experience this morning. Um, on the farm. On the farm, Jose showing us around and like. His lovely wife making oh his breakfast. Oh my goodness. His, oh. the passion he has with what he has done with his farm, which mm -hmm. frankly is a very, um, highly impressive oh, thing very it, it, i mean to have a cattle farm be carbon positive is it seems to go against mm -hmm. science yeah. but 
they figured it out here. Yeah, and it's so inspirational. Just, he saw a problem and he did research and he figured out how to solve it. And that's just like so inspirational. Um, but it's also been making us think about like, wouldn't it be so cool to have a place of our own someday where we can grow our own food and I mean, to me, you know, the ultimate I don't goal know. would be to have um, some land similar to this where we could grow our own coffee beans. That'd be so cool. Because if you could harvest your own coffee beans, then roast it and take it through the process of from start to finish of making your own coffee on a daily basis, I just think that would bring me so much joy and it would be the ultimate hobby. Yeah, I feel like in you know, 30 years from now, you're gonna be an old man and you're gonna be a coffee connoisseur. Actually, okay, so that <laughs> that's so funny because like, Jose on so many levels represents like, dream me in yeah. 20 years of like owning land, having a small little farm, growing your own food. He's talking about like the honey that they have mm -hmm. on the property, the banana trees they have, like all of the vegetables. How and they, how they, they, make their they own treat cheese. their cows and they take care yeah, of their cows the and they're happy. The and it's like, it's just beautiful. And men like, but then the cherry on top is the, obviously the Land Rover Defender. <laughs> You just can't get over that. <laughs> I need to That's have a really Land Rover Brady's, Defender someday. Brady's in my life. dream. <laughs> um, I just want a porch like this to do yoga on every morning. That sounds like amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I know we mentioned um, just very recently in Romania that like we're looking for that place, mm -hmm. and I mean that's part of the reason why we came to Costa Rica. Like we, I mean it's such a. Um, I've always known Costa Rica is like a destination for expats, mm -hmm. um, particularly American, Canadian, European. And I don't know, we just needed to at least explore it. And we kind of came, we kind of came in with the idea of like, we need to cross it off our list to make sure, cause it's like, we didn't really think we would ever want to live in Costa Rica, but I don't know. Now I'm kind of thinking we actually should consider it. <laughs> Part of what we want to do here in Costa Rica is experience as many unique stays as possible. Mm -hmm. um, We've got so some we fun have ones some really up. cool ones yeah. lined up, and we've been trying to instead of scrolling Instagram to just scroll Airbnb. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've been doing both, <laughs> which is a really dangerous combination, yeah. I think. <laughs> um, but we have found just some of the most incredible accommodations in Costa Rica. As a result, we're like doing this massive like ridiculous loop bouncing back and forth based on their availabilities yeah. to to stay in some really unique places so we're super excited to start sharing those thank you so much for watching if you're new around here help us out by leaving a like and subscribing and don't be afraid to drop us a comment we love hearing from you next up we explore an active volcano and visit a sloth sanctuary